Okay, here we go. Um, hello, I'm Elias, and uh, this is D Brew. It is a coffee, <laughs> coffee making robot. It's a um, hand brewed robot, if you can believe that. And what it does is it makes great coffee, um, V60 drip brew coffee. Uh, and the way it does that is it has the this concept of I don't know what you would call it, like tools. So it has the water tool and it has the ground coffee tool. And uh, and so it can move this around and you can sort of uh, position both the water and the coffee in the filter and then it trickles down into this cup eventually. Um, and so since this is this is controlled with a Beagleball Black and there's a uh, replicate sitting here which is a uh, actually a 3D printer cape, but uh, it's been repurposed for this project. And so, uh, in order to control this machine, um, there is a web interface that I've created. And so this is running off the Beagleball Black now. And uh, it has this concept of different uh, blocks that you can... Uh, that So you can set the coarseness of the beans and you can set the water temperature and you can move in circles and you can wait and you know do different stuff um, and in to uh, I don't know to, to program this uh, you can use this drag and drop thing so you can I don't know set uh, yeah you can move stuff around or you can uh, edit the details and whatnot um, so that's great you can also watch the raw G codes that it creates. Cause this is this is a just a G code interpreter basically. Okay, um, so that's it. You edit the profiles on the web interface, and then eventually you'll be able to choose uh, the the different profiles from this user interface. But the, the touch screen is not ready yet, so uh, that's something that needs to be done. Okay, I haven't tried this yet, but uh, we can do a dry run. I don't know if it's going to work at all, but, you know, let's try that to see. Yeah, it's doing something. It's initializing it. It's, it's moving about a little bit. So that's where I'm at at this project stage now. So if you like that, uh, vote for me on Hackaday, and uh, yay!